Hi, I'm Jonathan Bassoni. I'm the Director of Education at Lionheart Institute here in Los Angeles. I've been a professional in the healing arts for over 20 years. I've taught internationally uh, for about 15 years now, and I've helped to train over a thousand healers, including the ability to access their subtle sense perception, which is the ability to perceive, gather information beyond our ordinary five senses. For those of you who are intending to develop your subtle sense perception, the following video will introduce you to some valuable concepts that will help avoid getting mired in doubt, which a lot of us get mired in doubt and confusion, and move you towards more clarity and confidence in your subtle sensory abilities. These concepts will be expanded upon in the upcoming webinar series, which is entitled Increase Your Subtle Sense Perception, starting on May 4th. So I'd like to give you a little insight into my path of developing subtle sense perception with the understanding that your path of developing subtle sense perception will be unique to you. I was not born as a particularly psychic or intuitive type of person, and, you know, even today, uh, I'm probably much more of a rational uh, and kind of linear person, much more of a thinking person than an intuitive or emotional person. So during the summer of 1993, uh, a friend and I were uh, apprenticing with two shamans, Crow Swims Away and Becky Shining Bearheart, at their land, which is called Dragon Waters uh, in southeast Ohio. It's a beautiful, mystical land. Uh, in this kind of hilly, forested region um, and a great place to apprentice. So during that time, Crow taught me a body scanning technique as a part of shamanic diagnosis. Now, pretty much anything you do with shamanism, the first thing you do is start to enter an expanded state of awareness, which is often referred to as a shamanic state of consciousness. Um, the most typical way of doing this is using a drum or a rattle, uh, which is referred to as sonic driving. So with this particular body scan technique, I was told first to enter the expanded state of awareness and then to put my hands onto the ankles of the client and kind of send energy streamers up through the body and scan the entire body. and. The way Crow approached this was kind of really matter-of-factly and, uh, you know, almost even casual that, of course, I was going to do this and, of course, I'd be able to and, and just go ahead and try it. So I get with my rattle and I start, you know, shaking, start going into expanded state of awareness. And then I go ahead and I place my hands on my client's ankles and I send my energy up into the body and uh, I start seeing things and gathering information about the body. And, you know, I'm thinking, is this real? Uh, am I seeing anything? Uh, am I just making all of this up? Um, scanned the whole body, gathered a few different bits of information. Uh, and then returned out of my shamanic state of consciousness into ordinary awareness and shared what I experienced with my client. And my client, you know, confirmed everything that I saw and uh, I was absolutely shocked by this fact. I don't think Crow was surprised at all that this could, you know, be the fact. He didn't seem surprised at all. Um, but for me, this was the first time I really was able to have an experience of seeing and have that confirmed by a client. It was huge for me. So from this experience, there are a few key points that I would like to bring into focus that will help you develop your subtle sense perception. The first one is to enter an expanded state of awareness. And sometimes we might go and try and use our subtle senses but we're not in an, or, in an expanded state of awareness. We're in an ordinary state of awareness, including our busy monkey mind that's doing all the um, typical busy things that it does, including our rational mind evaluating, 
which is a real killer for subtle sense perception. And so we need to be able to enter an, into an expanded state of awareness, and there are a bunch of different ways of doing it. Uh, sonic driving is just one of them. In the Subtle Sense Perception webinar, we will go into some detail about entering expanded states of awareness and uh, give you some things that you can use for yourself. So enter an expanded state of awareness. The second thing I would like to bring into focus is to surround yourself with teachers and peers that believe in your ability to be successful with subtle sense perception. If you're surrounding, surrounding yourself with people who don't believe in any of this stuff, then you know, you're going to have a hard time making that leap. And I certainly wasn't able to make the leap without having actually a whole bunch of teachers who believed in my own abilities and supported them and nurtured them and also a community of peers that I could compare notes with and practice with and say hey did you see that yeah I just saw that it's a really crucial point so that we need good teachers and we need good community uh, and the third key that I would like to emphasize is just jump in just jump in and do it practice reading practice reading people um, with their permission uh, you know we don't just read random people on the street um, and this is not something that you can learn just by reading books you actually have to practice with real people and as I learned with Crow uh, you know the ability is there your latent abilities are there uh, they're just not being used and being accessed trust them, jump in, uh, practice, practice reading people, and get confirmation. That's the only way you're going to hone your abilities. All right, so um, that's it for today. And if you know you want to increase your subtle sense perception, go right ahead and click the link below and register for the webinar series um, right now. And uh, please share this video with your friends and practice developing your subtle sense of perception that's it